Giacomo says sports is the solution. Whether it's steering young people clear of a life of gang violence or avoiding unwanted teen pregnancies, Paul says sports is the answer for youth in underserved communities. And he's responsible for bringing that solution to 25 million American kids. Paul is the founder of Up To Us, a nonprofit organization supporting hundreds of youth sports programs across the country. But Paul's program goes a step further, focusing on the emotional well-being of the young people who participate with specialized training for his 500 coaches in more than 200 communities. This summer, the program graduated another 44 coaches from its training institute in New Orleans. For his work in supporting the health and well-being of America's children in poor and urban communities, Paul Kakamo is our foot soldier this week, and he joins me live in the studio. Paul, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. So why do you, what is the connection between sports and the avoidance of sort of the negative pathologies and behaviors you see in some of these communities? I, I think the biggest connection is belonging is attachment, is having a positive peer group. And most importantly, the reason we train 500 coaches across this country to serve in communities where they're needed the most is to have an adult who is a role model, who cares about you. Uh, the president recently said in a speech, there's too much negative reinforcement. What are we doing about positive reinforcement for our kids, or particularly kids who are facing issues like violence, like childhood obesity, who aren't seeing a future for themselves and dropping out of school? And we believe by training a coach Kids look up to their coaches. Everyone who's played sports knows it. Why aren't we building a national workforce of coaches, which we at Up To Us call Coach Across America, who are out there and ready to inspire kids and communities from one end of this country to the next, and to show them that they do matter, that they should set up goals, that they can be successful. But how do you attract, I mean, there are so many other sort of temptations in some of these communities, and kids are sometimes pressured into negative behaviors. It's not necessarily always a choice. How do you attract them and say, listen, let's come and play soccer, let's come and play basketball? How do you make that more attractive than the negative things that are going on in their community. Joy, that, that is the greatest question because I think it speaks to one of the assets of why I always say sports is the solution, America. And that's because when you look at kids in every community and you look at the types of things that they themselves choose to participate in, it's unfortunately, where we have a, many broken schools and where we have a lot of other challenges facing, it's, it's not necessarily the classroom. So we need to give the kids a, a chance to make those choices, and one of the biggest choices kids make is, I want to be part of a sports team. If someone came over and said, let's play basketball, let's play field hockey, let's play lacrosse, or run track and field, kids themselves choose to be a part of it. The problem isn't the motivation of getting the kids to belong to these programs. The problem is the lack of programs in our communities where issues like youth violence happen the most. And very quickly, if somebody wants to get involved in Up To Us, how do they do that? They've, I'm asking everyone, please go to our website, Up To Us org www.up2us.org and if you're an organization out there that's using sports to make a difference join up to us if you're a young person who wants to coach and make this a greater country and solve this issue of youth violence and childhood obesity we want to hear from you we want you coaching we want you inspiring young kids lives brilliant thank you so much paul kakamo for being here we really appreciate thanks it. for having